Uh, I'm going to show you how to use MIT App Inventor. First thing you need to do is to install the uh, setup instructions here. So go to this website, click on setup instructions. So there are a few options. Test it on real time, no. Chromebook, no. Use an emulator. Hmm, yes. This is the option that I want. Don't have Android device, use emulator. So click on this. So it takes you to installing running emulator. If you do not have an Android phone, you can still use Grab's App Inventor and use app. So now you need to install App Inventor. So the, this is the setup. So click on set instruction for Windows. Two parts installing App Inventor software. If you use USB, you need to step two. Right, so we do now. You must perform installation from an account that has been privileged. Download the installer. So it is now downloading as you can see here. It has finished installing so let's open the download folder and double click on it and run. Click next. I agree. Select the first one. And create a desktop icon. Click next. And default folder is C program files, and you can change this if you want. So I will change it to my D drive because I have a lot of space in my D drive. So I will it doesn't allow me to change. So it looks like this is fixed. It is fixed, so I just select next and install. Okay, right, so it's finished extracting. Click finish to close it up. All right, so now it says start here. I started to. Oh. So it says please reinstall. Please restart installer with admin privilege. Oh okay, so I right click and redo again. Run with uh, admin administrator privilege. Repeat one more time. Add remove install components. Anyone who use click next. And then check desktop, click next again. Same thing here, next install. And then, okay, I have to close it first since so I close it and retry. Alright, okay, yes, finish. Now I click finish and it will start the, the program. Okay, so this is the started program. Okay, so we leave it open there. And now we log in to our App Inventor account. We go to App Inventor and click Start now. Create apps. They say no to applicant. Okay, so over here, choose the account that you want to log in with. Ok, 
Okay, so now we are not in. All right. Okay, continue. Okay, so this is the default. Early on, I I created this. If you want to create a new one, you can click on the projects here, my projects, and you can just delete this, move to trash, start a new project, and say hello, hello world. Okay, so you can open the project now, and here you can put anything you want, maybe a button. And then maybe the blocks you can <coughs> uh, maybe that second thing you put is a label and then under blocks you can select the button when button is click when button is click select this one you want to do something you want to set a label so select the label and <coughs> set label text set label background font Okay, I'm looking for the text. Okay, we we'll set select label, set label. This one, plug it in, and then here, uh, select text. Okay, for the text, you need to look for text here, and plug in. Say hello. So it's done, we can go in uh, test it up. Go back to the screen. Designer view. And here we can test it up. So I <coughs> I click on this button connect and then it came out here. Connect the emulator. And <coughs> the emulator started as you can see over here. <coughs> he says waiting 13 seconds to ensure all is running. Okay, it's running. So I can unlock it. Alright. Right, so it's starting already. Alright, so there's our emulator. Now we can, I think, test it. We can cancel on that. Our oh, emulator is running. Okay, so now it's waiting to get the blocks here. Okay, so you can see it's quite slow. So the other way to test app is to download the APK file. So we just leave this for now, minimize it. So we can go here and build app save APK to my computer. Or we can provide QR code. So we just save APK to my computer. So it will compile the APK file. So it has finished. 
，你看，一天涨个零，十天涨个零，哎，小幅度些，还如果一 PK， right？ 这就是问，还如果一 PK， so now we can test it directly， uh， using our own emulator instead of using this one. We can close this uh emulator. It is rather slow, so we just kill it. Control C on here to kill it. And we use our own emulator, which is LD Player. You can download LD Player from the internet. It's a free software. Okay, my LD Player has started. You can resize it by going to the corner and resize. Okay, now you can drag the APK file into here to install it. Okay. So install already. You can double click to start it. There you go. Hello world, right? So this is how you can use uh, the MIT App Inventor to build apps, Android apps, and then <coughs> after that, uh, click on build, save APK, and then install it into your emulator, right? This emulator can download from the internet. You just search for LD Player, LD Player download, and you can get it from here. It's free software. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching.